Hello everyone. Today we will take a very interesting file uh, onto test and uh, see a very impressive feature on the way. I guess that will speed up the process of seeing an actual uh, and a powerful uh, EV render that can do an SSGI or screen space global illumination. How this can happen? Uh, actually, uh, there is someone that kindly he uploaded the file um, for free. <laughs> there is no uh, nothing because he is still trying, and he tried that using shaders and I guess with some kind of sorcery in rendering settings. But I actually opened the file and it works. Uh, the file itself working perfectly. But I, when I take a copy from the same file to another file it doesn't actually work and uh, we will see what kind of effect I'm talking about uh, as you can see here is that we have two files and um, they are actually the same this is the file the, the source file and this is the file that I've created just a new file with the same objects with the same materials and everything and uh, almost the same uh, settings turned on I don't know if he played a little bit about the um, quantities or anything uh, I feel that there are some changes but uh, here I didn't change anything I just gone for the uh, default uh, settings just uh, turned on everything so what what is happening why <laughs> I'm talking like that if you turned on uh, the uh, interactive rendering you will see a very predicted um, like uh, very dark shadows and all that stuff because we didn't make an irradiance uh, peak yet so it is way too predictable that we will find uh, especially that the background is black if you turn this a little bit up you will find some kind of um, yeah you know very fake GI but it is not actually GI it's just um, ambience uh, which is not uh, what we need but in here, we will find that the background is black also, and there is nothing to it. But in the meantime, you will find this. Look how impressive it is. It looks like it's a GI uh, in screen space mode, which, which is amazing. Only using the materials and I guess some kind of settings. I don't know. I actually don't have any idea, but it happened. You can have a real-time GI in Eevee which is amazing thing look at this it's it's beautiful and it's working um, it, 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 maybe there are some kind of um, artifacts like this you, when you zoom in you actually cut or um, you don't see everything so the screen space reflections which is I think uh, the hack that has been done for the materials is using the uh, BSDF in a different uh, with a different reflection roughness uh, so it gives like a GI looking uh, effect which is uh, very smart I actually uh, like this uh, so uh, he uses a screen space reflection to inflect a GI uh, and that doesn't mean that it doesn't work with reflections but actually there is something weird to it if we turn on the metalliness and uh, try to keep the roughness down you won't get the chrome effect that we are looking for uh, so it has to be um, something that is done in reflections uh, so he, he gets the reflections of the GI uh, or, uh, or the, uh, the screen space reflection and they convert it uh, in a way to give the same uh, effect of the actual GI if you can say so he said that um, SSGI version 3 demo scenes. Uh, uh, the guy who is doing this, uh, he is just the numbers. Uh, username was numbers, so it's weird. I actually found this uh, on a video of Blender today, so most of people are knowing this already, but it's actually amazing. I, I am very astonished. Uh, also to take a note, I think this file can work very well in a working environment if we can say it's not a product ready uh, yes it's just a trial or a demo uh, but I guess it is uh, way too powerful to play with 
if we can make um, a principal shader, um, let's forget this, and it make it a very uh, primitive one, and they give it the metallic uh, look, I think that we don't use the GI anymore. Uh, we don't need it because it's uh, completely reflective. Uh, so uh, I think that the file is working so well, if we can say, even if we have reflective surfaces and all that stuff. Uh, of course, there are some uh, challenges uh, still left, but I guess this is a very good start to uh, make Clément, uh, if we can say, <laughs> the developer of Vivi, uh, can take a look about this and uh, maybe he can implement uh, something uh, into Eevee that mimics the SSGI. I think it will be amazing to have SSGI in, uh, in Blender and for free. <laughs> that is crazy. It, it is not done in a, a high grade or we can say triple A programs for this. You will have it for free, <laughs> GI for free. That is crazy. Uh, so um, here we go. Uh, we can try uh, different objects. Uh, how we can work with it? It's pretty simple. All you need to do is to get any mesh that you need, like that. And as you can see, it doesn't uh, got affected yet. It has this uh, normal reflection um, uh, pass which is not uh, a GI, it doesn't look like this sphere, look how this beautiful is. And uh, you can take, um, we can take a copy of this by copying the material to select it. Look the difference, it, it, it's really obvious how, uh, how different it is uh, from being this to this, uh, look, it's really amazing. So all we need to do is to apply some mod modifiers just to give some kind of um, a depth to it. So we can uh, enjoy the, <laughs> the amazing work that has been done for this. Uh, actually, thank you, Mr. 0471, I guess. <laughs> I don't know his name. He is not a name. He, he, don't, he don't have a name. And uh, I feel that uh, if Clement can do a fast work to implement this in the next release, it will be amazing, or even 2.91 alpha or anything. Uh, we, we are halfway there. Uh, we, we can actually do a GI in real time, uh, using uh, just uh, very normal nodes. And I guess it's working in outdoors also. It, it is not working uh, indoors. If we can get this sphere up, and uh, here we go, look. The, there is, a <laughs> it looks like a GI. Look, uh, how how there is a like a, a white uh, or highlight here uh, under the shadow, which that really gives the the feeling that it's uh, it's being rendered or uh, ray traced. How amazing it is! <laughs> so let's let's make something. Let's make a change to the color or something. I, I don't think that it. Has. Look, there is there is a, an effect. There is a bleed of the red on the white building here. If we can say it's a building, it's it's done in a very uh, weird way. So we can make it even thickness. So we can have something that looks a little bit pleasable. And let's uh, try out uh, something else. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it, ooh. <laughs> Look how how it does it look. Um, the HDRI, by the way. It's just um, a sphere with HDRI. It can work with emissive materials, by the way. If we have uh, a material that is emissive, it will actually light the space. Yeah, it is real. Uh, you can light the space using emissive materials. So we can do that by adding a mesh or, uh, oh, sorry. We can add uh, a UV sphere or something like this. Look how, how does it look? It looks, that is the normal approach for EV with black background. We have to make an irradiance probe for this. Uh, so uh, we will make new, new file like this. And uh, very small. And we will keep it massive. Look, it, it does an effect, it, actually. And if we increase that, you will find that it has, uh, it has an effect on this box we can say. 
really astonishing. I guess that we need to decrease the um, specular, I guess, and to make the roughness way too much so we can see and experiment. Uh, just to make it simple for the people who want to try out this file, really amazing. You have a principal shader, but in a node as a node group, as we have seen uh, from uh, just a, a few minutes ago. So all you need to do is to take a copy from this file and uh, uh, sorry, uh, this uh, this material and call it uh, like any material you want, and uh, then all you need to do is to change the color or uh, we can attach a texture if yeah this uh, this kind of vector maps will do the work okay uh, so we have some reds and some weird stuff yeah it's not a good example of course mm, no nah, it doesn't work <laughs> see it doesn't uh, I mean it doesn't make a GI effect so the color will do the trick uh, we can give a uh, white color. It, it really appears on bright colors uh, too much uh, Like that and it uh, look look how it it actually makes light on uh, But it has to be on the screen because it's a screen based uh, Look when we make a zoom in you will find that the screen uh, based um, Immissiveness is working uh, way, way too well as if it's making lighting. It reminds me with uh, D5 render in that approach, actually. Really amazing. Um, so, I guess that is enough for uh, try, uh, trying this out, but it's actually, uh, I'm, I'm really uh, astonished of how powerful this plugin is, or <laughs> maybe we can say material, but I don't know. It's uh, it uh, as you can see, it works on this file. It doesn't work um, on its own. Uh, hopefully, to uh, to do another video with that format uh, pretty soon. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.